In 2007, Fast Defense was graciously invited to present at a national conference for people with disabilities. The event director, Derek Mortland, is a certified Fast Defense instructor and a well-known motivational speaker. Derek also uses a wheelchair after a devastating motorcycle racing accident when he was 28. At the conference, we met an incredible woman named Rayanne Nutter who also uses a wheelchair. She expressed during this one hour short presentation that her greatest fear was for someone to dump her out of her wheelchair and for her to deal with it in whatever way was possible. Well, I didn't know if we could pull it off, but before we know it, Rayanne had organized the arrival of some safe mats and we played out the scenario. Well, it just so happened that about a year later, Rayanne was actually attacked in her apartment while she was taking a shower. What ensues is, uh, is a, her direct account of Rayanne's story, how she was able to disable uh, a real live attacker and actually get him incarcerated and put him in jail. Rayanne is an, as a real life hero. So here you have these two absolute heroes, Derek Mortland and Rayanne Nutter to present their story. Hope you enjoy. My name is Derek and I'm here with Ray and uh, we're here to talk to you guys about self-defense for people with disabilities and the situation that, that Ray had in her home um, with a, sort of a home invasion type. It was late one evening and I was taking a shower and I often had my radio on and, and um, anybody who knows me or would would just stop by as a friend would know to turn the radio off and uh, I was getting out of the shower and I heard somebody stumbling in my apartment and I said hello and no one answered and then as I was like half in half out of the shower this man comes around the corner and I was like I looked for a minute and I was like he's not supposed to be here so I asked him what he wanted because he starts whistling at me and everything else and I I just very sternly said what do you want and he said I want you and I was like well that's the one thing you can't have and I very quickly determined that either I needed to fight back in the tub or get out of the tub all the way and as I was getting out of the tub all the way um, I use a transfer bench and he knocked me clean off my transfer bench onto the floor now my bathroom is not very wide, so once once you're laying on the ground, there's no really nowhere to go, especially when somebody is on top of you. And the only thing I froze for a minute, but then I realized that I needed to get the man off of me, or it wasn't going to end well. So, um, I all I could remember was eyes crotch head, and that's what I did. I used eye strikes, crotch strikes, and and literally took my my, or his head between my two hands and pushed it into um, the bathroom door which has a mirror on it and with that he either passed out or was knocked out and kind of curled up in a ball by my feet and then I was able to get out of the bathroom find the cordless phone which for some reason I brought with me I can't remember if somebody had called before I went in there or what but I called the police and they said that they would be there in less than two minutes that somebody was over at Subway eating, which is literally across the street. And sure enough, two minutes later, two people show up at my door. One's a woman and one's a man. The man says to me very calmly, he says, I'm going to get your unwelcome friend out of the bathroom. And I said, thank you very much. So he mm -hmm. puts him in cuffs and takes him to the car. You ladies ready to go? And so I went down to the station gave a um, statement, the DA came down so that I didn't have to talk to people twice, and she said, I'm going to try to get him on, t on rape charges, and I said, please understand this man did not rape me, and she goes, he was in your bathroom, you didn't have any clothes on, and you didn't want him there, that's enough for me, and he actually got convicted of attempted rape in court, um, and, and is now serving a sentence. Okay. Uh, Ray took uh, took a little bit of training from Bill Bill Kip with Fast Defense at an, an expo at Ohio State, and that was for about an hour, right? Yeah, I did in in 2007, and they um, had the training where 
someone actually dressed up as a mugger and um, he kind of took an assessment of what really scared me and I think the biggest thing that were to scare me would be if somebody came up behind me and knocked me out of my chair, which is essentially what happened. This guy came from the side, but he still knocked me off the chair and onto the floor and Bill was able to um, kind of be that be that attacker safe and fine. and then there was a coach in my ear that would was kind of I guess laying by my head and would tell me what to do next if I were to freeze up and that was what that that concept is what was able to help me remember the three things that I did when that man was in my bathroom. So you actually heard the coach in your ear while while you were being assaulted yes. by this guy in your bathroom. Because um, you do, I mean, you do freeze up. The startle response, in my opinion, you can't get around it. But it was a matter of, okay, I froze, now what? And um, all I heard were, were those three words in my ear. And then I was able to be effective enough to at least get out from underneath him and, and get to the phone.